name is Richard and I am from the Bromley North Congregation. Uh, I've been asked to speak today about Genesis chapter 13. This passage is about uh, Abram and Lot separating. If you have a quick rewind, uh, Abram has been called by God uh, to leave the land he is in, leave his family behind and go to Canaan. Uh, however, he's not been completely obedient to this. He's taken Lot with him. Uh, and Canaan, uh, there is a famine. Uh, so he ends up going to Egypt. Um, but despite his failures, uh, we see early on in this passage, verse 4, that he calls on the name of the Lord. He has not forgotten God. Uh, but we can see from this passage, he's a wealthy man. Now, we sometimes think if we have that little bit more money, that all our problems would disappear. But this isn't always the case, and we know deep down that's not the case. Um, we can see here that Abram and Lot are so wealthy, they've got such large herds, but they haven't got enough land to support them. So there's quarrels between them, there's disputes between them and their herdsmen, and they have to separate. And uh, Abram seeks to make peace between the two. But in this passage, Abram and Lot take two uh, different decisions in how they approach the big choices of where they're going to go over land. So... Lot's decision was based on what he could see with his own eyes and what would benefit him financially in the immediate future. He saw what he wanted to see, which was fertile land, well watered, uh, and he, but he didn't put the decision to God about whether this was the right land to go to. And sometimes when we uh, see uh, the good things and what we want to see, we don't always see the whole picture and the potential consequences of our decision. When we decide to move, go for a new job, promotion, do we consider the impact on ourselves and on our family? Because you can see why Lot chose that, chose that land. It was well watered, fertile. However, there's a mention of it appearing like the garden of the Lord. Um, this is a reminder that this is where sin originated from. It's a land where Sodom and Gomorrah uh, are sinful cities, sinful cities with sinful lifestyles. Uh, and we'll later see that there are consequences for Lot and his family and his children. His children um, are where the Moabites and Ammonites descend from. They later become enemies of Israel. Lot is very much walking away from God. He's going to the east. And we see in the Bible so far in Genesis when people go to the east, they're walking away from God. We see that with Adam when he's leaving the Garden of Eden. He's going to the east side. Uh, we see that with Cain uh, in chapter 4. He's walking away from God's presence and he's going east. And the Tower of Babel, when the, the account of the Tower of Babel starts, it's talking about people moving eastwards. Abram has submitted his decision to God by allowing Lot to make the choice. He could easily have seized the land from Lot. He was the elder of the two. But that wouldn't have been the right way to get achieve God's plans, to give, achieve God's promises. God would not want us to lie, to steal, uh, to get a quick fix, fix, to get ahead in life. But after this, after they separate, God speaks to Abraham and the covenant that has been developed. So in chapter 11, Abram is only promised to be shown the land. Now, now he's been told it's going to be given to his offspring. Lot was an obstacle to Abram. Uh, Abram wouldn't have known that it was an obstacle, but God has worked to remove that obstacle. Now, by Abram uh, giving up the chance for the land, uh, he gained the land. David, by not killing Saul, uh, gave up a chance for a crown, but he later gained the crown. Jesus, when he was tested in the wilderness, was offered the kingdoms, and he gave up a chance only to gain the kingdom later. Always remember to pray about the big decisions in life and not just about God getting you out of a few difficulties. And God may lay something on your heart uh, of a place to go, uh, a calling for a new job, and you can see obstacles straight away. But God will work to remove those obstacles if, it's that, if that's truly God speaking to you. And if you continue on a God path is set out before you, even though it appears to be too many obstacles, 
he will remove those obstacles. God bless you and thank you for listening.